Anti-realism, the philosophical equivalent of saying it's all in your head, but with more jargon. Anti-realism isn't about denying that your coffee mug exists, it's about questioning whether it exists independently of our thoughts, language, or social practices. Imagine reality as a painting. Realists say the painting exists independently of the viewer. Anti-realists argue we can never step outside our own perception to verify this. True knowledge must be self-evident and cannot be derived solely from observations of external reality. This is because all our observations are inevitably filtered through our potentially unreliable senses and cognitive processes, which may distort our perception of the world. Therefore, we cannot claim absolute certainty about the nature of external reality based on empirical evidence alone. If you assume there is a real world behind the veil, you'll find that you cannot directly access it, even though some of us try to do so by finding various backdoors. Hardcore metaphysical anti-realists take it to a next level and claim that the world does not exist beyond our mind, it's a solipsism with extra steps. Scientific anti-realists are the moderate cousins. They're not saying the world isn't real, just that we can't be sure our senses are giving us the director's cut rather than a badly dubbed version. Atoms, electromagnetic waves, the solar system? For anti-realists, these are pragmatic fictions, useful stories we tell ourselves to navigate the unknowable. Anti-realism comes in many flavors like a bag of jelly beans. Important figures involved in this field include Michael Dummett, George Berkeley, Bas van Frossen, David Hume, Kant, Hegel, and of course many more. In the end, anti-realism is less about denying reality and more about embracing a perpetual state of epistemological humility. It's a cosmic, I don't know, paired with a pragmatic, but let's keep figuring stuff out anyway. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.